Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Here are some quotes uh, from the head of a charitable foundation in Ukraine uh, in emails just days ago to my guest. We are collecting money for needs of refugees and patients, not only in palliative care, but for hospitals and child uh, shelters as well. And then he goes on to say, I believe that even half of the nightmares are not shown, both in our news, not mentioning world broadcasting. Well, my guest, is Leslie Nolan, who recently spent uh, two years in Ukraine as a member of the Peace Corps and has a background with museums in New York and Connecticut, where she led operations and fundraising, and now is executive director of the Canterbury Shaker uh, Village in uh, New Hampshire. But she's actively still in touch with uh, individuals in Ukraine who are confronted with the war and need so much. She personally just shipped 50 sleeping bags for use by Ukrainian refugees. Leslie, welcome. Thank you, Fred. You shipped 50 and you say you have 40 more. How did you ship them? Well, to tell you the truth, as of yesterday, we've shipped 140 now. Um, there's a shipping company called Meast. It was actually started by some um, Ukrainians and it's a national shipping company, M-E-E-S-T. And um, they do some special deliveries. They're inundated right now. But for these sleeping bags, because Meast is in, in New Hampshire, we shipped it through the U.S. Postal Service. Tell us about the uh, Ukraine that you know. You were there recently. Where were you located and what was your work? You know, I arrived in um, September of 2017 in Kyiv. And then we had training just outside Kyiv in a town that's been in the news a lot recently, Irpin, I-R-P-I-N, which is completely evacuated, I understand right now. But we spent several weeks there training. Then we went to Zhitomer, another city that's recently been in the news, where I lived for eight weeks to learn the language the Peace Corps provided um, language teachers for our group and again more training I was in the community development sector so I was in training with them there and then after Zhitomer I went further west to a town called Nanverna and it's just south of Ivano Frank Keefe's you're in close contact with uh, the people that you've met over there. What do they need the most? What are they telling you and what do they need the most right now? The news is beyond wrenching and heartbreaking. And my counterpart, Volodia Hereneshek in Nadvirna, we're working closely with the mayor and they've asked repeatedly for sleeping bags because as I said, Nadvirna is a town about two hours south of Lviv, about a half an hour south of Ivano Frankivs, and they have over 2,000 refugees in this town of 20,000. And what uh, Volodya has told me they've done is they've emptied the schools and they've made all the schools into refugee housing. And they've asked for cots, sleeping bags, mattresses. And of course, sleeping bags are easier for us to all send. So we're on a mission to, to send those. Were you or your Ukrainian friends aware of what Russia was up to back then? You know, I was there for a little over two years and I was very, very aware that there was a war, an ongoing war there in Crimea. <clears throat> Um, in 2014, as you know, the Russians just walked in and they they didn't have as much pushback, right? And a lot of Ukrainians are st were still very angry at that. So I was very aware of that. In addition, just in my town of Nadmirna, when I was there, there were eight um, Ukrainian soldiers who had died from 2014 through 2017 uh, defending Ukraine, the east of Ukraine. And Ukrainians really honor their um, the, those soldiers and their military in a big way. So their photographs were on several buildings and flowers around them. Listen, Leslie, uh, we're out of time, but I thank you for sharing uh, 
your time in Ukraine and what you've been doing since you got here. And by the way, uh, you're in a new venture uh, at the Shaker Village in Canterbury, and all the best to you with that. Thank you, Fred. And if you missed part of this chat with Leslie, you can go to WMUR.com, where it'll be posted later today and all this week.